playing against uh, Xena77. Looks like Dredge, because he leans out with the helpless research. But not sure, since I did have the nut draw and just go off turn one. So once I hit the double glimpse, that was pretty much it. Second one, I did have to fight through um, some counter magic. I don't know if he main decked or boarded in, but uh, I'll go through this one a little, a little slower. So I still have the tutor in the glimpse, so I go for the tutor in case he uh, Cabal therapies me. I'll still have one. He does. He does have the force for the first one, but I do have the second one. At this point, I'm down to the to the one creature, but I do have the scapegoat, so I do go for the temple garden because now at least. If I can get a couple more creatures out of this, I can bring them back and chain it together and hopefully find that second glimpse or enough creatures to get the grape shot in. And as it turns out, I hit a decent string of creatures. Not surprising since the deck is mostly creatures. The scapegoat gets back most of them, and then I did board in the Noxious Revivals to reuse my glimpses. And once I get the double glimpse chain going, then it's pretty much all she wrote for the uh, for the storm count. So the deck performed better than expected, better than usual. Uh, typically, one out of the three games, I will have to mull to oblivion or not have any redundancy and just get you know the one glimpse or one tutor crushed and uh, not be able to recover in time. But um, this time I was able to pull them both, so uh, turn one kill uh, both games. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, turn one first game, turn two the second game. So the deck is fun, and uh, I've been told it's a smoker's deck, because you get done with your, your games quick and can go out for a smoke break. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll put some more up now that I've got my recording equipment on my new computer up and working. Thanks for watching.